Hey, welcome back. Rod J here with another beer venture. Today, we're going to take a look at one from Rogue. This is Chateau Rogue First Growth Single Malt Ale. This name has actually been retired. It is now called Rogue Farms Single Malt Ale. Nice 22 ounce I picked up uh, probably about last week. It's actually a seasonal that's on a rotating basis, so I don't believe it's in play right now. Uh, this beer, to give you a heads up, going into it, uh, Beer Advocate actually gives it a rating of an 83, which is considered good. Uh, rate beer, looking at a 72 overall, 66 in style. Um, that kind of, I guess, fluctuates with rate beer. You're never really too sure, but um, we're going to give it a shot and see what it tastes like here. Um, taking a look at the, the wrapper, it's always nice to see the designs that Rogue really puts into their beers. It's really a, a neat thing. They, they take the extra time to make a quality product. Always a fan um, of Rogue and their family of beers. This is, the, like I said, the first growth single malt ale, Revolution Hops and Dare Malt. You take a look at the label, you know, dedicated to farmers and fermenters. Gyo, G-Y-O, is a rogue's ale, rogue ale's term for grow your own. We made this ale with our own hops and barley, malty aroma, deep golden in color with a dense creamy head, medium bodied with a lush rich maltiness from the dare malt, brewed using four ingredients, rogue micro barley, farm first growth dare malt, rogue micro hop yard first growth revolution hops, free range coastal water and Pac-Man yeast. No chemicals, preservatives, or additives. You're looking at an IBU of 35 on this one. The ABV is actually 5.3%. Um, well, nothing else to do but just to get this baby open now, I guess. Let's see you pop it there. Ooh, nice little hiss out of the top. And there's the, the little bottle cap. I can never get them to stay straight as I would like. I love so many guys, they do it pretty well. I'm actually going to use a pine glass here. Pour. Let that baby get there. We do see the head start to open up. Um, definitely looking at a, a two finger head, so it does carry a nice head on it. I don't know if you can see the carbonation sorry about the light in here guys but it's a little darker than usual but we do have some carbonation activity um, it's definitely lively inside the glass um, for what we see there the head it's actually not too much of an off-white color so the head is nice um, you look at the initial appearance you have that nice golden color to it you do have uh, some haziness um, inside now that could be I guess a chill haze um, but inside of that I can definitely see how lively the carbonation is as the bubbles are making its way to the top so let's see what this baby smells like wow the uh, the hops really do come right off and hit you right up front um, You're getting a pretty good pine resin type smell coming off of the hops. But you definitely have a little bit of that uh, sweet smell from some of the malt too. This is it's got a nice aroma on it. The head is still hanging in, the lacing is still kind of nice. It's going to take a taste here. You're getting a good, I would say, uh, moderate to just under heavy bitterness. So you do get that nice bite that takes place on the initial. But then it kind of tapers off well that um, there's not much of a lingering flavor with it. The duration is uh, probably about average. Um, you look at the 
the finish of it, the finish has a nice crisp finish to it. Um, not too bitter at the end, kind of just fades right out. So that does make it uh, kind of nice along those lines. As far as the texture, um, it's kind of dry. You know, it's, it kind of goes there, it sits there, and it, it just goes. Um, the carbonation, as I mentioned, it is lively, but it's not over carbonated. It seems to be just right on it. Um, there's no astringency as much when you're finishing. You're not really puckering up too much. It's uh, got a nice crisp end into it. I do like that uh, bitterness to it. So, um, you know, I mentioned earlier about the color. The color's definitely got that kind of that between that, I guess, that oranges amber type uh, color, if you can see that a little bit better there. Um, but you probably, I can see that you can see the haze most likely. Um, there's not much action inside of it, there's no particle action taking place. So, really nice bottle condition. I do see. What seems to be a little bit of sediment down in the bottom, but nothing too bad at all. Um, again, the laser, the head is still going down after a few drinks. It's still hanging in a little bit, um, but it is starting to fade a little bit now. But the lacing um, is probably what I would call fair type lacing on it. It does start to uh, taper off as well. Um, the head is not too frothy. It's uh, it's just right on how it kind of uh, comes across. I'm trying to think if there's anything really miscellaneous. I will say it seems to be a little more crisper um, as far as the water. They do mention they use the free range coastal water, so that might be part of the play in it as well. But it does have a little bit of a, I guess you could say, a cleaner type taste than some of the other ones. Um, that I have had before, um, but I do I do dig the hops on it. Uh, this is a, would be a great beer if you're just um, sitting out on the deck, relaxing, maybe listening to some music, want to have a cigar. Uh, I can definitely see where it also might be something good to drink if you're having like a burger or something along those lines, something like um, something you would offset, like maybe a, a, a good heavy meat with but uh overall i think it's a good beer you know if i was ranking this on a scale one to five i i'd give it a four i think with the rate beer giving it a good score around 83 is probably right put it in that top 20 percentile i would definitely uh, recommend to see if you can get that out there again this is the uh it says chateau rogue single farm a uh, single sorry single malt ale now it is actually known as the Rogue Farms Single Malt Ale, um, but this was one of the ones of the, the last bottles that were remaining, but if you can find it, definitely worth the purchase and uh, pick it up. Let me know what you like. Uh, if you like the review, make sure you definitely uh, click like or subscribe so you're updated. Hopefully uh, you found something that's interesting, and I hope you give the beer a chance. You really never go wrong with Rogue. They have a great family of beers, and Appreciate you taking the time to check out the video. I uh, hope to talk to you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.